Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to replace the battery in a 2019 13-inch MacBook Pro. This process involves the use of flammable substances and runs the risk of fire or personal injury if the battery you're removing gets damaged during removal. For your safety, be sure to both read all the information included with your kit and watch this video in its entirety before proceeding. We've gathered all our materials and are working on a soft static-free work surface. We're now ready to begin. Before we go opening up the MacBook Pro, we first want to temporarily disable the auto boot function. We'll re-enable it later when we're done. To do this, launch terminal and enter sudo nvram auto boot equals percent zero zero. Then hit return. You'll be asked for your password. Go ahead and type that in. Note that your cursor won't move as you type in the password. Once you've entered that command, you can now shut the MacBook Pro down and close it. The first thing to do is place the cloth that came with your kit over the keyboard of your MacBook Pro and close the lid to help protect your screen in case of any spillage of the adhesive remover. There are six pentalobe screws on the bottom cover that we'll need to remove. We'll start with the two on the hinge edge as they are slightly longer than the others. You can then remove the four screws along the bottom edge. The cover is held in place by a pair of clips, one on each side. To disengage these clips, use the suction cup from your kit to lift up on one of the front corners, then slide one of the plastic cards underneath the cover and carefully run it along the edge until the clip pops free. Then, do the same thing on the other side. You should now be able to grasp the front edge of the cover and pull it out of the retaining clips holding it on the hinge edge. Just above the battery, there's a plastic covering over the board which will need to be removed. Simply peel it away, taking care not to damage the cable underneath. Next, lift the tab on the cable to reveal the socket underneath. Use your nylon tool to gently lift the latch on the socket, then slide the cable out and move it aside. You can now remove the large Torx T5 screw that holds the power connection closed. Then, lift the metal tab up to completely disconnect power from the battery. Finally, remove these two Torx T5 screws that hold the board in place. We can now move on to the trackpad connector, which is held in place with two Torx T5 screws and a metal plate, which also need to be removed. You should then be able to lift straight up on the connector to detach it, Then carefully peel the cable away from the battery. Next, we need to remove the trackpad entirely. Start by removing these eight Torx T5 screws along the sides. Then, remove these two T5s which hold the bottom part of the trackpad.
With the computer still upside down, slowly and carefully lift open the MacBook Pro. The trackpad should stay in place. Then, slide the trackpad cable out through the slot in the chassis. Be extremely careful to ensure no washers have fallen off. You can then carefully set the trackpad aside. At this point, we're going to be working with adhesive remover, so be sure you're working in a well-ventilated area and use the protective glasses and gloves included in your kit. Start by drawing about a quarter of a milliliter of adhesive remover into the included syringe. Place one of the included plastic cards along the edge of one of the side cells so that it sits slightly underneath. Use the syringe to apply adhesive remover to the card so that it flows down and underneath the battery cell. Let it sit for a minute or two, then carefully work the card under the battery cell separating the adhesive. After a little bit, you should be able to lift up the side of the cell slightly and use the card to add more adhesive remover like you did before. Continue to separate the adhesive until the cell comes free. Then, repeat the process on the other side. For the center cell, place the card along the innermost edge and apply the adhesive remover as before. Then, work the card underneath the battery until it's free. You should now be able to remove the battery entirely. While it's optional, it's generally a good idea to remove the remaining adhesive from the battery bay so that the new one has a clean surface to adhere to. To do this, simply use a little adhesive remover and your black stick to scrape each adhesive strip up until you can peel it the rest of the way off. Once you're done, wipe up any extra adhesive remover and let the MacBook sit for about half an hour to ensure everything has evaporated and dried. The first thing we'll want to do is reinstall the trackpad as it's easier to do so before we install the battery. First, double check to make sure the silver washers are around all the posts. If one is missing, check underneath and inside the MacBook Pro as they can fall off easily. Then, simply slide them over their corresponding posts. Open the MacBook Pro slightly and carefully slide the trackpad approximately into place. Feed the cable through the slot in the chassis, Then slowly close the MacBook Pro, adjusting the trackpad as you go so that its posts line up with the corresponding holes in the chassis. Now it's time to reattach the trackpad. Start with these two Torx T5 screws along the bottom edge, which are slightly shorter than the others. Then, replace the remaining 8 screws along the sides. You can now set the new battery into place and remove the plastic from the top. Next, secure the battery board into place with its Torx T5 screws. You can now lift each cell back and remove the paper backing from the adhesive before setting it back down into place.
Fold the trackpad cable back over across the top of the center cell and press the connector into place. Then secure it by replacing the retainer cover and two Torx T5 screws. You can now fold the metal tab over at the battery connector and secure it with the large T5 screw. Then slide the ribbon cable back into its connector until it's fully seated. And lock the connector by moving the lever flat. Finally, peel the backing off the included plastic shield and set it into place over the battery board. There are a series of clips on the hinge edge of the cover that attach to the chassis of the MacBook Pro. Holding the cover as flat as you can, push the cover towards the hinge edge so these clips engage. Once the edge is flush, then push down on the two side edges to re-engage the side clips. We can now replace the six bottom pentalobe screws. Start with the two in the corners on the hinge edge, which are slightly longer than the others. Then replace the remaining four screws. Finally, flip the MacBook Pro over and remove the cloth. Now that the battery's been installed, we need to calibrate the power system. First, plug in the USB-C charger and let the battery charge up to 100%. Once it's reached 100%, keep it charging for at least another two hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures, like sleeping the hard drive, are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. Continue using it even through the low battery warning. Don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. Leave it shut down for at least 5 hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. Then, fully charge the computer back up to 100% without unplugging. Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to normal and use your computer as you normally would. All that's left to do is re-enable boot on open. To do this, launch terminal and enter sudo nvram autoboot equals percent zero three, then hit return. You'll be asked for your password. Enter that and hit return. Boot on Open is now reactivated and your MacBook Pro is ready to use.